Oh, but let's let's I mean let's let's get into it. Let's let's see what Mr. Louis Money and Razo are gonna bring to the table. And did you guess Politana? Because I'll be honest, I didn't guess Politana. Was not even in my top five guesses. <laughs> so uh, we're this this is gonna be a set full of surprises. That's that's the only prediction I feel comfortable making right now. And an explosive start from Razo, getting some great mileage off those float cancels. Uh, Nairs each can put on a ton of percent if the opponent isn't ready for it. And Razo definitely accomplished and practiced enough to make those things happen. That's true. Just looking at this back and forth, really you can see like both players just trying to get their combo starter going. They're trying to land the back air to a dash attack. They're trying to land a turn up into a forward air. Just Anything at this point will be the combo starter. Mm -hmm. And so far, the trades have seemed to be going uh, in Louis Money's favor here. Politana has like a 50% percent lead and against the character, Peach isn't the heaviest. This is a good spot to be in. Although not right now because Razo has stage control and Palutena has got to play this carefully if she wants to get back on the ball ground. Yeah, great DI from Razo. He knows that he has the DI out on the down throw. DI in is, would be for sure instant death, but still getting trapped and uh, Louis Money able to take the stock. At this point, it's all about Razo if he's able to really get in on Louis Money, which we know can be very difficult for Palutena. It is. Palutena has wonderful tools in her disposal whenever she's trying to keep people out. She's got hitboxes with invincibility on them. She's got tricky recoveries that just evade edge guarding attempts. And even tools. the ledge trump that we saw from Raza wasn't enough. We saw ledge trump Nair, which actually landed onto Louis Money, but unfortunately for Raza sent Louis Money across the stage. All right, and Peach, uh, obviously great character, a lot of really good tools in her kit, but she would prefer to have a lead. <laughs> Approaching oh. is not her forte, especially against a character like Palutena, and approaching from two stocks behind is no one's forte. That is a rough spot to be in no matter who you are. And of course, landing that Nair at the ledge once again, sending Louis Monet across the stage, this time taking the stock, being at a high enough percent. But a couple of Nairs can attack on some damage. Razo answering right back. Okay, so Razo's behind, but there's stage control right now. Razo seems to have momentum with the turn up and with the edge guarding. So if he's able to turn this pressure into a stock real quickly, then this isn't an insurmountable lead. And there's a down throw into back air, explosive flame at the ledge, adding a little bit more pressure. But Razo, of course, playing Peach, has access to the float, allows him to stall away from the ledge a little bit and just nullify that explosive flame. However, it does give Louis money more stage presence. Okay, we see another trade and Razo again in center stage. Right, Razo swinging. We're seeing the up smashes coming out here, but Louis Money isn't really in a position to just run into stuff like that. He has the tools to sit back and auto reticle if he wants. That's right. Wow. Okay. Turn up into Peach Bomber. Ton was, of damage. It looked like a stitch. <laughs> <laughs> was that a stitch? I, I couldn't I think, even. I think it was just this, yeah. Although, turn up, you pick up a uh, knockback after they've been out for a while. So, because. Uh, Louis Money got hit at like the apex of that turn throw. It's gonna send him a little too far. Even Palutena's great recovery can't save him from everything. And even goddesses need to eat their vegetables, and guess what? Turn up is gonna take that stock. It's true. I hope everybody had a very nutritious Thanksgiving holiday. Peach <laughs> is doing her part to ensure Palutena is. Okay. Oh, nice trump there from Louis Money. Yeah, using uh, a trump of his own to uh, Anther against Razo, who had actually done it a few times to Louis Money. So a very ironic way for game one to end. Mm-hmm. That's uh, using your opponent's tactics against him. Good stuff to Louis Money there. Uh, the Palutena, although we didn't expect the pick at all, worked out real well. Uh, also, it is worth noting, I mean, Palutena is a great character on a lot of stages, but Pride Plats in particular give her a lot of room to shark and can cut off some approach options that Peach might have wanted to take too if Blue Money's under or behind the platform there. 
So yeah, I, yeah. I would expect we'd see a stage swap. Yeah, I, honestly, like, I feel like Razo had the correct options in some of those in some of those traps. It was just, like, sort of unfortunate that whenever we would see Razo get the down air, which he normally is very proficient at converting into a forward air, uh, it just wasn't landing for some reason. But yeah. or, or they that, like send in the opposite direction. Or something. Yeah, it's it's it was weird. <laughs> yeah. It was but, almost like divine intervention. Oh, goddess powers. That's not fair. <laughs> Plot armor. You can't can't stop it. <laughs> but Taylor breaks the script. Yeah, and now of course we're eliminating all those platforms, we're starting on um, final destination, which we're seeing a lot more back and forth between the players. Yeah, I, I like this pick from Raza. Ooh! Uh, although, it's Louis Money doing his best to show it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Going get off that first real stock. deep there. So get the first stock, and now it's uh, it's Raza's game to approach. Yep. All of the benefit that Raza got from having a, a level playing field, no platforms to cut off approach options and everything like that, that all kind of dissolved as soon as you lost the early first stock. Although that was a really nicely... Uh, Vertically spaced Peach Bomber there because he was able to land without lag and spot dodge right after. Yep, getting the tipper of the forward air, just the tip of the crown. And here oh we go, God. big damage. That was a dot face. That's why we see 93% onto Louis Money. That was one string. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, reach. Give him the reach. Really, really great, oppressive offstage play from Razo there, taking that combo and turning it into a stock, not giving Louie Money any room to breathe there, knowing that he had to teleport from a certain spot, and then just intercept with Peach Barn. That's right, no divine intervention this time, as Louie Money just takes all the damage and a stock. Here we go, down throw, chasing and charging with oh, the up smash! No. Oh my Louis god. Money dropped I... shield! He dropped shield! He probably thought he was spaced just enough to the left of it to not get hit, but he wasn't. He got he got a sour spot. It's still strong on the sour spot, and that that's a costly mix-up. I I just yeah yeah. So Louis Money obviously didn't want that to end the way it ended up ending, but you can't afford to make those mistakes when you're down and you're fighting someone capable like Razo. Yep, yep. And I mean that's that's honestly like the momentum and the the clap back that we needed from Razo to say that, you know, game one didn't go my way, but game two, this is how it should have gone. Mm -hmm. This and down airs should have connected into forward airs. I should have been able to get my my Z drop combos for massive damage. And that is what we got to see here. On top of that, I just wanna point out that Razo lost the first stock early. Yeah, we, we I, did see Louis Money go off real deep, uh, land a forward air, and still able to make it back. Yeah, so the fact that Razo is able to not only change the momentum in the game, but change it mid-game into something that commanding, that's pretty impressive. Game number three, we are tied up here. Are we on the way to another game five? Honestly, with the way that game one went, I was, I was a, a little unconfident that we would be going to game five. But now after watching game two, I'm saying game five. This is gonna be another game five for you and I and the rest of the stream monsters. This, buckle in everyone, because we got some good stuff on display here. These two both want it. You can tell they're bringing their best out. The, the Hail Mary up smash doesn't work a second time, but. No, I love that he just like, he even charts it a little bit. Like, you're gonna do it again? Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, nope. all right, That was a check. That was like. <laughs> Are, are you really ready for this now? Have you actually learned? And Louis Money says, yes. <laughs> right, you, can, you can hold it, I'll just wait. <laughs> and of course, these two players going back and forth. The slugfest continues here at the 2GG in West Coast Invitational. I, I almost feel like Razo is like trolling with these up smashes in a sense. Because sometimes like, you just gotta throw out the Hail Marys, and just check your opponent. Yeah, yeah, but the like, best option like, yeah. is the worst option. Sometimes it's like reminding someone of what they got hit with in a way to like kind of, I, I don't know, like tilt them in a sense. But it doesn't seem to be working because that explosive flame found its mark. And, uh, you know, Louis Money gets trumped in return, but we're tied up. 
Yeah. And fortunately for Raza, it wasn't the, the back air, or the nair that connected, but the back air. And that is exactly what he needed to even up the game. But Louis Money, wow, putting out damage of his own and answering with his own charge up smash. Mm-hmm. Two can play at that game. And, uh, you know, just for the record, probably take his up smash a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Okay, down till converts into 40%. Now, oh, Louis Money able to get the empty hop into grab the tomahawk. So smooth from Louis Money, but now here we go. The here come the ledge traps. The peak Ooh, bomber wow. able to allow Raza to escape. Yeah, aggressive uh, escape there. Worked out in Raza's favor. Able to trip Louis Money up and fight his way back on the center stage here. But just like one sweet spot dash attack, one back throw is going to kill at this point. Louis Money's got to be careful because he can't afford to give Raza opening, but Raza's got to be doubly careful because this wow. is Wow! Da whiff dash attack right in front of Raza. That's not where you want to be, and that frying pan was charged up. It was ready. It was ready. Once again, killing off the prop. Peach saying size of the up smash does not matter. That was an up smash, but whatever. It went up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Peach being one of those characters that can actually uh, angle her F smash, which will actually cycle through the what item she uses. Yeah, I, you know, I actually, that was one of the the most sensible minor changes, I think, that I saw in this game. I was like, you know what, that makes a lot of sense. Why didn't they always do it like that? Yeah, well, little inspiration from Little Mac, I'm sure. Yep, yep true. All right, so uh, this is a good spot for Lily Money. We got a percent advantage here. Razo stuck off stage. The Peach has the options to mix up the recovery here. Of course, making it back to center stage, Razo looking for his turn up opening. Able to land it, but still not able to convert. And here we go. Razo at the ledge. Louis Money trying to recover. Gets the trade. And see, Louis Money able that, to recover. Uh, high. I think Razo is picking up on here. Halutena, her tilt serve a purpose in that they cover a lot of space and are active for a long time. They, they have uses, as you just saw, the F tilt took the stock. But. Just like 20 seconds before that, we saw Razo able to fight his way off ledge by just holding on to ledge as Louis Money F tilted and then Peach bombered in response. So as we go into the next game here, into game number four, we're going to have to watch when and how Louis Money decides to pull the trigger on those Palutena tilts because the reward's pretty good, as we saw there, but there's a cost attached to it. And if Razo can pick up on that, he can get off the ledge and plant his feet more firmly in the center where he needs to be. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just the adaptation that continues to occur during these sets that's most impressive. We saw Razo adjusting the, the micro spacing, which allowed all his combos to work in game two. And now we're starting to see more tools, Louis Money, utilizing those tilts a little bit more to cover space, a large amount of space that Razo was trying to approach or recover with. Three, two, Speaking so of large I... amounts of space, we do not have that luxury anymore. We are here on Smashville. Tiny close quarters combat going to come out for these two. And I oh. like this pick from Razo. Yeah, this... I think for the, for the most part where Louis Money has really had control or at least like the lead in these set games, um, like, if he does, in fact, take the lead again, that Louis Money's not going to have that much room to work with. Yeah, there's very little space for Palutena to just... Oh, no, that is super unfortunate. Pulling the trigger a little too late on the up B is going to cost Razo a stock. That is a costly misplay that you can't really afford to make at this level of competition. Especially you know at that low of a percent. Yeah. At like it's really going to be about Razo able to having that damage output, but look at the wall of projectiles that Louis Money is putting out. We you saw explosive flames, we saw auto reticle. Coming. We saw the reflect come in. How many times a reflect from Palutena actually work? Almost never, not an excellent move. He was throwing every special he could at Razo and still landing a back air to almost close out of stock. But and as we were we were talking about the smaller space helping out Peach, but if you don't have the lead there and you constantly have stage control, then really Palutena is the one that's going to benefit from that. You're going to be able to cut off everyone's options with stuff like Explosive Flame, 
with your big, disjointed aerials and tilts. Yeah. And uh, we're seeing the results of that right now. We've got a full stock lead to lose money. Yeah. Up smash, able to connect for Razo, making the first stock. However, being down a full stock, he still has a lot of work to do. A couple of up airs, trying to trap underneath the platform, but directional air dodge is going to allow Louis Money to escape. And here we go, putting the damage out from Louis Money, forcing Razo to a pro tie. Now both of them are kind of recruiting back. Now it's it's also worth noting, Peach has a lot of good options for killing off the side of the stage, especially if she can string them along. So if Razo can get a good string in here and close it out with a forward air, then we might be able to seal an early stock off and bring this to a last stock situation without Razo taking too much in the process. But that's that's true, but I think Louis Money knows that really those strings typically start up with down air from Peach. And he's not giving much room for Razu to start that. He knows that he needs to be below him or above him. And forget that. Back air. He yep. just invulnerable shield that you have to deal with. You got to respect it. And sometimes uh, there really aren't a whole lot of options in the face of a move like that. And placement like that, too. Really uh, oppressive advantage state there from Louis Money. And that's going to carry him 3-1 into semis.